السلام عليكم لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله The way that Bilal Muhammad is, he shows how a lot has changed since 2016. Here's your tale of the tape. So I've said it earlier. When you know a guy, Muhammad thought never seen the Wonder Boy dominant oh. when he decides to shoot and the get into his power shots. That's how he's landing those kicks. You see that, Cruz? Look at that. Now he's conventional. Well, he's circling. Luke, a one way to throw him. Wait until he switches and then go switch his stance to the side that he's trying to. Nice dog. Luke closes it behind him. But for as good as Luke is on the bottom, below. Oh, beautiful. Chris, one, two for Muhammad. <laughs> One thing, even with the pressure, Bilal's doing a good job. He's plotting, he's pressuring, but he's not faking shots a lot. He's just going to deep waters, as he proved against Brian Barberino. His attacks come off of him being in a conventional fight stand. Leg. So even if it gets, see, there it is. Oh, yeah. So even if it gets compromised the left side, he can still push off and explode off of his back foot. And now at 90, Luke is putting to try to wear down Bilal. When Bilal can get these takedowns and put Luke on his back, it kind of undoes a lot of that pressure that he's trying to tire Bilal out with because this gives Bilal. Muhammad fights. There's not much submission threat. So you can give your back to try to get back to your feet. Okay, that would hurt him a little bit, yeah. Him a bit. That would hurt him. Uh, Muhammad best is stumbling a bit. Oh, he's now hurt. trying to hang on. Need of the body for Luke. Starting to wind up. Side to side, so that sets up loopy punches and loopy kicks. Looking for straight punches are harder to land on some. Oh, another side left hook. That's his best weapon. Momentum starting to. Luke. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Take down attempt. Unable to finish it off. Bilal's going to drop back down to the legs here. Yep. He's got Luke's hands up, so Luke. I think Muhammad's still a little bit messed up from the left hook. So every second that he spins in this position is allowing him to recover. Wow, nice defense by Luke. Mm. And who's using more? There's still a lot of energy to keep yeah. Luke there. But that last oh. take down, yeah, right? took everything. Yeah. Oh. Left hook again. And that right hand's getting low because he's going to the body. Well, such a strong partnership between those two welterweight success that they have. Oh. Well time for the octagon harder to get up for Luke from this position, Don, right? Much harder. And this is Palaz very good at being a blanket. He's good at staying on the top of you and wasting, taking all the energy out from underneath you while he hangs yeah, on I'm top of you. Yep. Wow. Very good by Luke there. Very close third round with 45 seconds to go. Luke getting a little busier. Muhammad like Muhammad staying on the bike so well though. That's what's keeping it moving. That's what's keeping him alive right yep. now is his bike. Vicente Luque about to enter to uncharted territory. As we enter a fourth round, he goes off his feet for a moment. So close. Yeah, I and think that ground and pound that beat him from the guard. Rounds are thinking Bilal has it two to one. We got five to Very nice. Keeping the hands, going to throw in the hooks. Wow, that was a nice scramble. Wow, done some two minutes to go. Oh, big left. Luque's got to be fit. And he's landing punches. Big right from Luque. Bilal fires back. We're going to keep it here between rounds as we're set for the final five minutes of this fight. Very important contest. But finish it, it looks like. Bilal looked like he was getting a little tired early. Wow, nice defense by Luque there. Pocket heavy exchange. More defense to keep the feet from Luke. And if Luke was thrown a oh look out. Ooh, He's got the neck tied on that one. <laughs> he said, go ahead, shoot. I need this finish. Two fours front headlock. Bilal's been in and he defended perfectly. Almost a takedown. Now he gets it. Wow, great. Exactly what he needs to do to win this fight. He fought the style he needed, and he made Luke fight his style. He made him 
chased him all over the octagon and he pulled him into the position again we've been seeing all night, DC. Let's see what Luque does. New Smart territory for it. Luque again, Bears mentioned. No problem. Five takedowns. Mohammed, 89 88. But those five takedowns tell the story as they often do. Decision below! What a fantastic performance to beat a guy like Vicente Luque. How good does it feel to have this type of performance in this environment, in this big time matchup? Honestly, it means the first I want to say, Alhamdulillah, man. Thank God for blessing me with this. I'm not going to tell my brothers and sisters out there celebrating. This was my this was my hump I had to get over, you know. He knocked me out. He beat me. I was I had to think about that my whole camp. The whole trolls on Twitter, everybody, they're posting it all the time now. Now what do you got to say? I won. You won, and wrestling is once again the thing that leads you to victory. But tonight, you showed real improvement in the stand-up. Did you expect them to pressure you like this and have to be able to stand with them for the extended periods of time that you did and get those takedowns and have him defend but get right back to work? Yeah, honestly, I'm working with the best team in the world, Valley Full of Striking. We come up with a great game plan for every single one of my opponents, a different one every style. Maya I had to defend takedowns. Wonderboy had to do more takedowns. I knew Luke was the best of both worlds. And he knocked me out, so he had that over me. I want to hit him hard. And I think it just like showed that I could do it all. Like I'm not one of those guys that can't. I could, I could wrestle with the best, I could strike with the best, I could grapple with the best. You are in a division that is full of killers. You are on a streak like none other. You just beat the number five guy in the world how soon would you like to fight again, and who would you like to see when you step back into the octagon? You know, I'm, I'm going to stop calling for the champ since nobody wants to call me to give me that shot. So let me get the, the big mouth Karen, Kobe Covington, who's out here calling out 55ers. Come and fight a real 70 pounder, you coward. I'm a real 70 pounder. I'm winning fights. I'm not Masvidal off of two losses. I'm not Woodley off of five losses. I'm Bully B off of seven wins. Come and fight a real challenge, coward. Also, everybody sees what's going on in Palestine right now. I just want to give blessings to my people out there. That's the real fight. Those are the real ones dying every single day. This fight is nothing. This fight is, it means absolutely nothing. I give my people a win. It means the world to me right now. And I hope it just gives them a smile on their face to see me carry this flag in the ring. Congratulations on the massive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Bilal Muhammad. Remember the name.